Hello and welcome to round two of the Skittles Cup Series, this time at Atlanta. On the pole for this race, we have Matthew Sutton and the number nine Dale Walt for Fitzwater Astelia Racing. And starting next to him is Jack Halleck and the number 96 SoccerPro.com Toyota for Blue Flare Motorsports. Here is the rest of your starting grid. And as the pace car goes in, that means it's time for Matthew Sutton to lead his first uh, pull to the green flag. Being pushed by Khalil Collins, he's off to a great start. Al Collins looks to be going down low, hoping to make the early pass for the lead. He's had a fast car all weekend. He's being pushed by the number 32 for Alexander Novacek. They make the clean pass. Here goes Kyle Collins to the lead after having a very bad run at Daytona, being wrecked out in the first 20 laps or so. Matthew Sutton, though, he wants the lead back. He's going down low on Kyle Collins. They're already battling up front for the lead, and this is only lap two of the race. Matthew Sutton wants that lead back, though. Here comes Ryder Smith. He led the first lap of Skittles Cup Series history, and he's looking to get in victory lane, too. Jeffrey Fingai going down low to make it three wide on Ryder Smith and Kyle Collins. Matthew Sutton, though, he's looking strong off to the start, holding a nice lead. <clears throat> Ryder Smith is making ground, though, in that number double zero for Titanium Motorsports. He wants to get owner Randy McBlair the first win of the year. Will he make the pass? It looks like he's got him here, especially with the help from Jack Dwyer. It looks like that Ryder Smith has cleared him. Matthew Sutton getting pushed out into the grooves. Ryder Smith though, he has a healthy lead. Kyle Collins is going to try to run him down, though. Ryder Smith was also looking very strong this weekend. But the Titanium Motorsports cars have been looking very good since uh, testing back in Daytona. Looks like back, and there's a battle for second place between the number 55 Dr. Sleep of Jack Dwyer and the number 3 Speed Co. of Kyle Collins. CJ Racing did not get the results they wanted back at Daytona, and Kyle Collins looks to give him the results that he wants here. Ryder Smith still up front holding a lead. Jack Halleck's getting ready to run him down. Sam Rogers Motorsports was the first team to win in Skittles Cup Series and Jack Dwyer wants to make it back-to-back -back wins for the team to start off the series. Ryder Smith's looking to make that a challenge though with that strong run. Another lap led though by Ryder Smith. 
give a little shout out to Jeff Bolton and the number 09. He is making his debut and Black Ice Enterprises debut. They do not have a sponsor, but they are hoping to improve as the season goes. They did not make Daytona. Michael Scout failed to qualify, barely, but Austin Rogers had him beat out. Also give a shout out to Dustin Brown of driving the 75. He is the second part-time driver for Toon Hotels Racing. He's not as high position-wise as Michael Kaluzny was last week, but it was also Daytona. These guys are hoping to have a fairly solid year and get picked up full-time next year. Back up at front though, Kyle Collins has the lead. And behind him is the Daytona 500 winner, Sam Rogers. It looks like they're about to go three wide though, Jack Halleck after just causing absolute madness in the round of Daytona, crashing out early and then causing a bunch of wrecks with his slow car. He looks to prove himself in the series and get a win here. He got the first pull and he just qualified second so he clearly has the skill but will he have the luck to win behind Jack Halleck you can see Ryder Smith he led the first few laps he wants to get back at it Drake Kalita is in fourth and in fifth is Jack Dwyer although Jared Gotastic is making his moves Back here a little ways, you also got Eddie Karwowski for Chastain Bros Racing. Great performance by this guy. He didn't qualify the best, but he is having quite the race right now. Also props to Jack Roberts in the number 16 for Flying Aces International. He is keeping up with the main pack. And then just behind him, you have his teammates Richie Wells and Eddie Jones. Let's have a look through the field, see what's going on. Zach Stern, Travis Scott is making waves. He didn't qualify the best, but he's pushing his way towards the front. Ethan Villacorta, Daniel Bouchard, Wilson Hunt, TJ Smith. The list goes on. Thomas Saldivia isn't doing very well at all right now. Austin Rogers is looking to make his way to the front. And in last place by a lot, Jeff Bolton. But back up in front, we have Ryder Smith. Not a bad run at all by this guy. Jared Gotastic is back there. He's looking to get up to the front. Blue Flare Motorsports did not have a good debut in this series. All three other cars finished below 30th place at the Daytona 500. They all want to change that. They all want to get Toyota their first win and not have it be won by their Toyota rivals, Titanium Motorsports. Jared Gokastic's looking really fast right now. Will he make the move going into three and four? It doesn't look like he will. It looks like Ryder Smith will get this lap as well. Looks like Drake Kalita for Fingai Saitomi Motorsports is making the pass on Jared Gotastic with help from Pole sitter Matthew Sutton. Matthew Sutton dropped back early, but he's looking to get back into the race. He wants this win. He is hungry for it. Ryder Smith is looking strong to start, though. He looks like he'll definitely be the car to beat. Drake Kalita, he didn't start as high as everyone thought he would in this race, but he's made his way towards the front. 
He started off the Daytona 500 strong and wrecked out early, so this is his chance of redemption. Matthew Sutton, the three of these cars are strong up front right now. Jack Dwyer is looking to use their battling to gain momentum and catch back up. <clears throat> you also see Joey DeCrescenzi and Kenny Mai back there. They have not been mentioned today, but they've been holding themselves together quite well. It'll be interesting to see if or when uh, Red Viper Racing gets Mercedes their first win in the stock car. They've been strong to start off their stock car careers. Kenny Myatt. He's uh, one of the more well-known drivers in this series. He started second at the Daytona 500. He hasn't done much notable, but uh, here he hopes to turn that around and get a win. Up at the front, Ryder Smith is coming on to lap his first car, the number 09 of Jeff Bolton for Black Ice Enterprises. He goes down below, looks like Jeff Bolton will go up high. Let's go keep tabs on this, Let's see if he uh, causes any wrecks in the back, see if he holds up. Looks like Jared Gotastic will pull the uh, unlucky straw here. Jack Halleck, Sam Rogers, Alexander Novacek, and Kyle Collins will get the pass because of this. Jeff Bolton just held up a lot of good guys. Francois Chastain has moved his way to the front. He started 18th, which is very low for him, and there's a caution. There is indeed a caution. Uh, I will get back to you on what happened. So basically, they were going through turns three and four, and Ryan Reed for Austin Rogers, no, for Rogers Racing, tried to make it four wide on Christian Russell. He tapped Christian, Christian got loose into Daniel Bouchard and then sent Ryan Reed into the front of the pack in front of Ryan Reed's teammates, Hiroshi Kazumi and Austin Rogers. Two out of the Rogers racing cars got damage. Unfortunate for these guys. They haven't shown a lot of speed so far and this will definitely not help them out. Rumor has it that they're working out a deal with a new sponsor to try to help them out. We will see how that works out in the future. Very unfortunate though for Ryan Reed and Rogers Racing. We will get back to you at green. And we are back for more Skittles Cup Series action. The pace lights are off so that means this time around the pace car will pull off. Leading the field to green it'll be Ryder Smith in the double zero for Titanium Motorsports. You see the lap down Jeff Bolton next to him. Uh, then we got Jack Dwyer, Joey DeCrescenzi, Matthew Sutton, Drake Kalita, Kenny Myatt, Sam Rogers, Francois Chastain, Jack Halleck, and running at the top 10 is Zachary Fitzwater. Pace car pulls off, and that means they're ready to go for more action here at Atlanta. The crowd are on their feet as Ryder Smith in that beautiful a &W scheme leads them off. What a great start by Ryder Smith. Creating distance between him and Jack Dwyer early. Jack Dwyer is a strong car, so he needs to do that. The cars, some of them are going to get held up by Jeff Bolton, sadly, but that's just how it goes. Looks like Jack Halleck's back there getting held up, getting a taste of zone medicine as up front, Jack Dwyer passes Ryder Smith the lead. That caution's not what Ryder Smith needed. He was looking very strong. Now it's Jack Dwyer's turn to lead some laps. Behind Jack Dwyer, you see Joey DeCrescenzi up front. He didn't make a lot of noise at Daytona, but he is looking to compete for the win here at Atlanta. Look at him go. He did sneak in and get a top 10 at Daytona. A lot of these drivers are looking to get their 
second top tens. It's looking very good for Jack Dwyer, though. Although, Joey DeCrescenzi looks down low. Matthew Sutton's going to make it three lot wide. He wants that lead back. Drake Kalita, you see him just stalking in the background, hoping that one of them makes a mistake and he can capitalize and get the lead. <clears throat> you see Sam Rogers in the back, as well as Kenny Myatt. The Titania Motorsports cars have looked very fast so far today. Matthew Sutton, though, he looks to get the lead back. That lap was led by Joey Tecrescenzi. Drake Kalita makes it three wide. It's getting really competitive up front. We haven't even made it past lap 30 yet, and all these guys are looking to get the lead. They're all, at, they're all really aggressive. I haven't seen this aggressive driving at Atlanta in a while. Kenny might push up to the second groove. This is Drake Kalita. He's getting a good lead on them. Sam Rogers pulls into second. He wants to get another top five. He wants to really get the lead for the points. He's already locked into the championship. Drake Kalita's pulling away. He's using everyone's aggressiveness to his advantage. He wants to get Fingai Saitomi Motorsports their first win. <clears throat> Sam Rogers looks to pull away with him though They're trying to get away from the pack They know that a big wreck is bound to happen While they're all racing like this Here goes Sam Rogers He's going down low He really wants to win race number 2 of his career And race number 2 of the Skittles Cup Series history See there's Christian Russell. He has a bit of damage on the hood in the back. Ryan Reed. He is keeping up with the crowd fairly well, considering the wreck he was just in. Hiroshi Kazumi. Steven Schaff. He had a really good starting position, but this is not going his way here. Jeff Bolton has already fell to the back of the pack. And he's already a lap down. Richie Wells. Looks like something might be wrong with that. His car. He is really... Not doing as well as expected. Thomas Saldivia. Justin Garza. Dustin Browns. He's having a decent debut. He's going down low on Ephraim Lord. Ephraim Lord's teammate Christian Vargas is looking to get the pass on him. Wilson Hunt. Ethan Villacorda. Eddie Jones. Travis Scott. He is trying to get back up to the front after having a very, very bad starting position. He's going for the pass on TJ Smith. Zach Stern is just sitting there very quietly. Jeffrey Fingai, he fell off the lead pack. Very unfortunate. He was looking strong to start it off. Kenny Might has fell all the way to the back. Up at front, it looks like it's a battle between Jared Gotastic and Sam Rogers. Jared Gotastic really wants to get Blue Flare Motorsports their first win. Jack Halleck, he's being really aggressive though. Went to make it three wide for a second, and now it is three wide. He's really trying to show everyone what he's made of. He has the best average starting position as of right now. Jared Gotastic though. He's coming around to lead another lap for him and Blue Flare Motorsports. And he's got it. We are back from a little bit of a break. Uh, Jared Gotastic, he had a commanding lead. He is still up front. Uh, Matthew Sutton, though, is going down low to make the pass. Things are getting a little hectic in the back. And there's a wreck. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, a lot of good contenders are involved. Wow. Very unfortunate. It looks like uh, Matthew Sutton is going to have the lead. Coming back, we will go and check out exactly what happened. So as you can see, Kenny Myatt goes down low on Bradley Bishop Jr., Ryder Smith, and Francois Chastain to make it four wide. He taps Bradley Bishop Jr. Bradley Bishop Jr. gets hooked, and he just basically dumps Bradley Bishop Jr., he goes up into Kyle Collins, Francois Chastain gets into it. 
it looks like Alexander Novacek, Joey, Joey DeCrescenzi, uh, Jack Roberts, and Eddie Karwowski. Very, very unfortunate. A lot of these drivers are having a very, very good run. Another horrid day for Kyle Collins and the whole CJ Racing team. Wow. So the pace lights are out, and that means they will be going green this time by. Leading the field away will be Jack Dwyer in the number 55 Dr. Sleep Chevy for Sam Rogers Motorsports. I'd like to note, the only driver that did uh, DNF from that crash so far, of course, uh, was Jack Roberts in the number 16 for Flying Aces International. Um, and also to note, because of the earlier incident, Austin Rogers had to DNF his car due to a tire problem. You see uh, Christian Russell and Jeff Bolton, the uh, lapped cars next to the leaders. Here comes Jeff, Dw Jeff Dwyer, Jack Dwyer, away for the lead. Jack Halleck looks to be competition for the other Jack early, especially with help from Jared Gotastic. The two Blue Flare Motorsports teammates are looking to team up on the Sam Rogers Motorsports cars. Let's go back here a little bit. I want to see this, but let's go check to make sure the lapped cars aren't causing too big of issues for the leaders. It's like they're all getting by them. Uh, Christian Russell was there. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't look like, as of right now, that they're going to be causing any accidents. You can see these two, these guys right far off the pace. Jack Halleck is currently in the lead, but it looks like Jared Gotastic is going to make a move for that, being pushed by Matthew Sutton. Matthew Sutton's been a very strong car all day. He really wants to get the lead back and win. Drake Kalita, though, he is also there, being pushed by his teammate Jeffrey Finguy. Finguy's made his way back up into the groove. He's looking to have a strong finish as well. <clears throat> Kenny Myatt's up in front. You know the CJ Racing boys aren't going to be too happy with Kenny Myatt. There might be a little bit of beef after the race after that whole tobacco. He moves to the bottom, though. He wants to win. He's not out here to make friends. He is out here to dominate the new series. Matthew Sutton going to the bottom, but he couldn't get the move on Jared Gotastic that time. Drake Kalita on the... F oh, looks like Jeffrey Fingai isn't even going to have it with his teammate. He is just going to go and pass. He wants the win. He's got his rival Kenny Mayant behind him. Looks like Jared Gotastic, because of the uh, battling for the lead, he's got a very strong lead right now. Battling for the lead, battling for second place. Another lap for Jared Gotastic. Jeffrey Fingai is going to try to go low on Drake Kalita. He doesn't get the move. They've all caught back up to Jared. Looks like this pack is pulled away from the rest. Drake Kalita, he going to the bottom. Will he be able to get his move on Jared Gotastic this time by? It looks like he will start to make his move. He has help from Kenny Mite down low. Jack Halleck has worked his bay back up into the mix again, as well as Jack Dwyer. Looks like all three Fitzwater Australia racing cars are up front you got Matthew Sutton, Zachary Fitzwater, and Zach Stern all up in the mix now. Haven't heard from Zach Stern so far this se season in general. He's looking to make some noise. Ryder Smith was strong to start. It looks like his car has faded a lot but he's trying to get back up into the mix and compete for the win. Who's Then in the second pack you have Ethan Villacorta and Richie Wells starting it off. Up at the lead, though, Drake Kalita. 
We'll take a bit of a break this time, bye, get back to you in a few laps. Welcome back, there was a wreck during the break, and we are, but it was a big one. Uh, so, Francois Chastain slowed up his teammate, and he hit his teammate into Kenny Myatt, so Jared Gotastic went for a bit of a ride there. When does it get big, you may ask? Well, just give it a second. Nailed by Sam Rogers. And then Ephraim Lord got piled in. Thomas Saldivia. TJ Smith. Just a wild ride for Jared Gotastic. All the other cars piling in. Nobody's stopping in time. Just a huge wreck. Terrible way for a lot of these guys to end their day. Look, you can even see Ethan Villacorta's car smoking. We will get back to you at the green. So it does appear that the pace car lights are off. That means next time by, they will be green again. Jack Dwyer will once again be leading the field off to green. You see the lapped cars of Kyle Collins, Francois Chastain, and Jeff Bolton lined up next to the starters. There is about 25 cars left out of the 38 car field. Uh, that, that big one definitely junked a lot of people's days. Not Jack Dwyer though, he looks to get redemption for Sam Rogers and pull off the win. Here they go. Jack Dwyer with a strong start to lead them away. Drake Kalita looks though like he's ready to make his move early. See the lap car is already holding people up. You can see Jeffrey Fingai back here is being held up big time by Francois Chastain. Looks like Garza, oh. Another car, another wreck, another yellow. TJ Smith, turned by Justin Garza, his teammate. like Matthew Sutton he will bring it back to the green flag I mean the yellow flag is it even yellow I don't think it is I think I was mistaken ladies and gentlemen doesn't look like they threw the yellow Drake Kalita's pushing hard on to Matthew Sutton. He really wants that win. You can see Kenny Mythe there lurking in third place. Jack Halleck, Jack Dwyer, Zachary Fitzwater, Ryder Smith, and Zach Stern are the last few cars in the front pack. Travis Scott leads the second pack. Heartbreak day for a lot of guys. A lot of guys trying to get back into the groove of things. <clears throat> Matthew Sutton looks to lead another lap. Looks like Matthew Sutton, he's holding himself a great lead right now. Doesn't look like anyone's trying to compete with him. Obviously, as we've seen, that can change in an instant. 
Jack Halleck, he is looking to make his move on Drake Kalita to get second. Kenny Myatt's ready to help him. Kenny wants to get to the front. You've heard his name plenty of times, but he has yet to lead a lap at Atlanta. He'd love to get number one. Matthew Sutton gets another one, though. You see this battle for second place is heating up. They're gone three wide. Kenny Myatt is taking it three wide. He can get there, he just can't seal the deal for second. They're coming up on TJ Smith, who just had that wreck. Probably shouldn't even be out on the track, to be honest, but they're letting him keep it out. This is Jack Dwyer's chance. He's gonna make his move on Matthew, and he does it, thanks to TJ Smith holding him back. Kenny Mites finally worked his way up to second. Looks like they're coming up on more lap traffic. It's going to be disastrous for the leaders. <clears throat> Jack Dwyer, he's got there. Zachary Fitzwater is up to the front for the first time all day. Ryder Smith and Zach Stern having a career run, which isn't too impressive, I guess, since it's the second round, but still. Jack Halleck. Kenny Mines not going to be too happy after that when he finally worked his way up to the front, and now he is back because of TJ Smith. Matthew Sutton also won't be too pleased about that one. Jack Dwyer leads the way though. Look at him go. Ryder Smith is finally back up to the front. He had a great car at the beginning of the race. His car still isn't the best on the field, but he hopes to be able to use that lap traffic to his advantage here. Will Jack ha Dwyer be able to hold him off? Jack Alex also coming back up to the front. There's another lapsed car. Jack Dwyer is going to use it to his advantage, potentially. Nope, he goes up and he blocks Jack Halleck. The lap cars are really going to play a big role in who wins this race. Now Ryder Smith to the lead. There'll be 12 laps to go coming back around. Jack Halleck's right on Ryder Smith's tail. He wants the win. You know, Drake, Kalita, and Matthew Sutton aren't giving up yet. Jack Dwyer's dropped a little bit further back than he would have liked to. He's got to hope now that lap traffic will put pay into his favor. Ryder Smith's car's looking like the strongest it's been all day. He's back up and dominating. Doesn't look like Jack Halleck can compete with him. Jack Halleck's going to try to go low. He didn't get there. <clears throat> Down low for Jack Halleck. Is he going to get the move on Ryder Smith? It looks like Matthew Sutton's going to make it three wide for the lead. This is nine to go right here. They're getting really antsy. Here's another lapped car. Oh, there's three lap cars. This is really going to determine who wins the race and who loses here. It all depends on what line these guys are about to choose. Jack Halleck goes up top. He's anticipating, but he anticipated wrong. Kyle Collins is up top. He's got the block. Matthew Sutton goes to the lead. There's two more lapped cars. Jack Halleck pulls around three wide. Dustin Brown is really holding them off. There's a car holding up every line. There goes Matthew Sutton. He pulls away. Kenny Mites right on his tail. Being pushed by Zachary Fitzwater. <clears throat> See a bit of damage on Fitzy back there. Jack Dwyer goes to the inside of Fitzy, and Mike goes to the inside of Matthew Sutton. It looks like it's uh, Drake Kalita's day is done, and it looks like Jack Halleck's day is done as well. Kenny Myatt to the lead. 
Kenny Mide is going to get his first lap lead of the entire day. Eight to go. I think I messed up the laps earlier, but don't worry about that. Jack Halleck, he's going down low. He, not Jack Halleck, Jack Dwyer. <laughs> Wilson Hunt, he's blocking the field. He's blocked all three lanes. Jack Dwyer is pulled so far away. He timed that perfectly. Kenny Myatt is in second now. He's got to make the catch on Jack Dwyer, who is super far ahead now. It doesn't even look catchable. Matthew Sutton is going to have to get Zach Stern to help him up back up to the front. There's still time to come back, but is it possible? Jack Dwyer's got a very commanding lead. Looks like Kenny's catching him, though. Kenny Mite and Matthew Sutton are making the com making the catch up. Dw Jack Dwyer's just got to hit all of his marks. He can't afford to make one mistake coming in these last few laps. He timed the lap traffic perfectly, but it looks like Kenny Mite just has an extremely fast car. Kenny's to the inside. Looks like Matthew Sutton's caught both of them. Zach Stern is really enjoying this opportunity. He'll be able to make a move potentially here. Jack Dwyer is still holding off Kenny Myatt, though. <clears throat> as long as no more lap traffic get involved, it should be these three battling for the win. Kenny Myatt's going down low. Jack Dwyer's trying to get the block. He doesn't get it. Kenny Myatt. Kenny Myatt might have him coming through three and four. Doesn't look like he will. Jack Dwyer is just looking really, really strong and hitting his marks. Kenny Myatt clearly has the faster car, but Jack Dwyer is making the least amount of mistakes. He's pulling away again. Oh, oh, Jack Dwyer makes contact with Francois Chastain. Matthew Sutton gets held back. Jack Dwyer is being, has... Kenny Myatt right up his rear. What tragedy for Jack Dwyer. He looked like he had it. Kenny Myatt is making his move now. Two to go this time by. Ryder Smith's making it three wide. Titanium Motorsports is looking for the 1-2 finish. Jack Dwyer is all the way back in third now. It's Kenny Myatt and Ryder Smith. They're coming up on lap traffic. Now it's two laps to go. Man, I'm really bad at keeping up with laps. I know Zachary Fitzwater is going to have a lot to say after this race about that. <laughs> Ryder Smith. He's on the tail. Jack Dwyer looks to get back into it. Are they pitting? They're pitting! Ryder Smith. He takes the uh, white flag. What is happening? It's going to be Drake Lita and Ryder Smith to determine who wins this race. Drake Kalita goes down low. Ryder Smith has it up high. Who is going to win it? It looks like it's going to be Drake Kalita for Fingai Saitomi Motorsports wins round two at Atlanta. 
Wow, what heartbreak for the guys that pitted. Wow, what just happened? What a great day for Drake Kalita, though. He managed to play the strategy right, and he got the win. Number 62 is now locked into the championship. Looks like you got Drake Kalita, Ryder Smith, Zachary Fitzwater, Matthew Sutton, Zach Stern, Jeffrey Fingai, Bradley Bishop Jr., Travis Scott, Ryan Dagby, Eddie Jones, Justin Garza, Hiroshi Kazumi, Daniel Bouchard, Kenny Myatt, and Jack Dwyer rounding the top 15. I'll actually show the results this time so you can see where you finished. Dustin Brown just beat out Jeff Bolton for the highest part-time finisher. And last place is Austin Rogers with that tire issue. I hope you enjoyed round two of the Skitties Cup Series. And tune in for round three.